people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Your thoughts on Roley and Tank? You know, uh, Roley likes to talk. He talked about your fight with Valdez. And any, uh, how do you see that fight? <laughs> Tank by knockout. I think Roley suck. I think he's like one of the worst boxers in boxing. Like I feel like uh, he don't fight nobody, but um, he's just getting an opportunity, I guess, right now. He don't fight anybody. When he had a hard fight, he lost. Um, you want to talk about how I look in my fight with Nakati, where I won every round. But he fought that dude, and he clearly lost the fight, and they gave him the fight. So uh, that was a bad night for him. A bad night for me is me dominating. You ain't hear nobody saying uh, Nakati got robbed or nothing like that. So I watched him fight. I'm not impressed. I think he uh, garbage. Um, he needed to just stop talking shit. He talk a bunch of shit, and now... Um, in due time, take on put him to sleep. I can't wait. La lastly, on that fight though, what's the chance he's, it's a Mayorga syndrome where it's like yeah. this dude don't do nothing right, but you get caught, you know, because he's awkward and strong. Yeah, I think that's the best thing about him. He do fight kind of like Mayorga. Um, he awkward, like you said, uh, a little strong. But that, that skill pay the bill, man. I feel like Tank's skillful. Tank on uh, use his skill, set him up with a big shot. It may even be a body. I hope it's a body shot. I pray it's a body shot. <laughs> Uh, I feel like a body shot show a lot of uh, bitching a lot of people. So um, I hope he hit him with a good body shot and drop him. I, I got to ask, just because you brought up the body shot, there's been a debate regarding Keith Thurman, right? We saw it in the Manny Pacquiao fight. We saw it in the Mario Barrios fight where he gets caught to the body and takes out his mouthpiece. Doesn't go down, but takes off his mouthpiece. Some people saying, oh, he can't take a body shot. Some people saying that's genius because he's not going down and he's able to stay off from those body shots. How do you see? So I see it as both. Like when I look at it, I see it as both. I think um, it is a smart move. Uh, milk the clock. You uh, need a little bit of time to recover from the body shots. But um, I think he, I think somebody catch him with a good body shot. Uh, I feel like it might be over. I feel like if you fight like a Terrence Crawford or anything like that, um, I think Terrence might stop him to the body. Yeah. You know, Thurman got like that. You know, in the NFL, they call it the bend but don't break defense. It's, it's, it's easy to get a lot of yards on him, but you don't get the touchdowns. That's kind of like Thurman. Like, you, you can get him going, but you, he doesn't get out of there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's a bad fighter. Right, right. I got a quick instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's a bad fighter. Like, I think Thurman is a good fighter, but he is weak to the body. I feel like you step up um, on him, like, with Errol Smith or Terrence Crawford. I feel like those dudes is a little bit too much on him. Even Boots. Like, I think Boots would be too much for him, but um, it's a great fight. I don't take nothing away from uh, Thurman. Um, he's definitely a great fight. Is Spence Ugas going to be a close fight, you think? Nah, I see uh, Spence being Ugas up. Um, if it, Errol is 100%, uh, I see him beating him up, and I think it's time to make the Errol Spence Crawford fight. That's a big if, though, uh, right? Coming off an of eye injury like that to where we really don't see a lot of fighters in combat sports coming back. Right? Do, do, do you think there's kind of kind of concern there, or it's kind of like with the car accident? Let's see what you do once you step into the ring. I mean, I seen him with, with uh, Danny Garcia. I seen him with Danny. I feel like he was uh, kind of sharp. Uh, wasn't as strong as he usually is, but uh, he was definitely smart and picking great punches. And, uh, he definitely put on a great show with Danny. So I don't think there's gonna be any problem with Ugas. I think Ugas is a great fighter, but Styles make fights, and I think Earl's style is. Long for yeah, Zuga stay in front of you too much to beat Errol, yeah. and he ain't got the strength to bang with Errol. Yeah, he kind of used that high guard just like Errol, so it might be a phone booth kind of fight, and I don't see him winning no phone booth fight with Errol. Yeah, Errol got the bigger guns, right? Yeah, that, for sure. Yeah. Ain't smarter fight, I think. Smarter than Ugas? Too? Yeah, I think he's smarter than Ugas. Ugas is a smart fighter, don't get me wrong, but I think uh, Errol is a smarter fighter. Thank you, Shakur. Yeah. Hey, April 30th, baby. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god